Go is well under the planning for the city's first rapid transit bus line. Phase one is approved and moving forward, but some people are now trying to stop the red line before it even begins. Our city beat reporter Mary Mills is along North College Avenue, where the opposition is gaining strength. Well, this is the sign at 54th and College. It's hard to miss. It went up in the last week or so. It says, stop the red line, warning of overdevelopment, gridlock, and wasted tax dollars. The red line calls for electric buses in designated lanes to run from Broad Ripple to the University of Indianapolis. Several miles of it will run along North College, which opponents say will cause further congestion and parking problems. They say even though the red line is already approved, funded, and ready to go, they're still hoping to stop it. The funding has been approved federally, but as I understand, you know, Congress still needs to allocate those funds, and maybe this year that's not something that's necessarily going to happen. Um, so, you know, there could be a delay, which could buy some more time. Maybe some more people can get involved. Maybe we can get this thing pushed to some sort of a referendum. Uh, that's what I would like to see. Now, it's likely there will be a referendum this fall, but that's to fund expanding the red line and adding other routes. And tonight at 6, we'll tell you why red line supporters aren't overly worried about the campaign to stop the red line. Back to you.